Cool. Three, two, one, boom. And we're back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. This is actually not an episode. This is a behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, usually you hear us through these things. Headphones. Yeah, cool. Well, they hear us, yeah, on the headphones. Or watch us on YouTube and you just see like our little pictures on the sides with like ads running. Uh, but this is not one of those. This is behind the scenes because we like ammunitions videos. Um, well, set up videos in general. Yes, set up videos. I, I just, I, I attribute it to ammunition because okay. hers is the ones where I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. All right. You should do one of those. Yeah. Uh, so you just go behind the scenes and you check out like what people have in their spaces to bring you things on YouTube. Yeah. Or iTunes. Subscribe. Like. Share. All that good stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're going to check out my setup and then we're going to check out Vicious setup and then hopefully that'll help explain what it is that we do from a gear perspective. And it's not just auditory. Right. Yeah. So here we go. Cool. Okay. So uh, for those of you who may be wondering, when I, whenever I post like behind the scenes pictures and then there's like three screens. So this is what you're actually seeing. Uh, how does this work? Well, Vish is the one who set it up for me. But <laughs> what we have over here is, it seems like they're floating screens. But if you check out the back, check out the back. They're actually mounted to the wall. See that over there? Yeah. And um, from there, the wires run through the HDMI cords, which are connected on my computer on both sides. Mm -hmm. And right now we got UFC going. Me and Vish went to that UFC, Brian Ortega, Max Holloway. It's pretty awesome. Got a little um, iTunes. This is like dedicated for iTunes. And uh, this is dedicated for videos that I'm watching. And you're probably wondering like, okay, why do you need like three screens, right? So I edit off of this one. I've got like my Final Cut Pro, my Photoshop on that one. And then I usually just like watch things. And then this is like how I, how I decide what to get the flow with music wise. And then this is connected to the PS4, but Vish will explain this because I didn't set it up and I have no idea. Honestly, he's like the tech wizard. Although you may think like, oh, you got this cool setup, but he really just set it up for me and my dad mounted it to the wall. This, oh, this is super important. This is a Drobo. So what the Drobo does is you hook up a bunch of, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> I didn't dust it, but you hook up like these external uh, hard drives, Vish? Yep. Yeah, external hard drives. You can get up to four, I believe in there. And then what that does is it's like a server. It's like a redundant server. It's called a redundant server. I don't know. All right, well, <laughs> I believe it's called a redundant server. So what happens is, you you plop uh, the hard drives in there, and then it's it like a backup, right? Yeah, it's like a backup. Okay. So what happens is, as you save things onto it, it's always saving things on all the hard drives, and then that way, if one hard drive fails, you can just remove it and then put a new one in, and none of your data is lost. So that's really important for when I'm doing like photo edits or video edits because I, I like to save everything, and you save everything off of here. This is, you're probably wondering like what these speakers are. This is a wireless, uh, yeah, this is where I keep my phone on top of this thing with a charger. Uh, wireless Harman Kardon uh, Bose speaker. This one is connected to the PS4 over here, which is actually over there. So it's connected <laughs> to the PS4. This one's connected to my computer. Uh, it's not the greatest to listen to your audio through here, but as a pro tip, when you're editing videos, make sure you listen to the audio off of your computer and not your wireless speaker because it'll sound different. So you want to make sure that's universal. And the only way to make it universal is to listen off your laptop because everyone's going to listen through a laptop. Uh, what else do I got? I got, oh, a wireless amp for playing guitar because that's dope. And external hard drives. Always got to have external hard drives. These are actually... These are actually little gear kits that I created. Uh, come right in. So what it is, is I've organized everything into like their little spaces. So if you ever need wires or uh, batteries and stuff, they're all in there. It's batteries for that um, speaker, uh, the amp. Uh, I gotta love Goku, that's pretty dope. And then, so basically everything Feed, Vish will get into this more because I don't really know how it works. But what I understand is that this PS4 runs into this system over here, which then runs into 
this system. Because why do we do that, Vish? Splitters? You need a splitter for something? Because we're adding multiple things onto one screen. And well, this is specifically uh, audio extractor and an HDMI splitter. I don't know what that means. So I'll All explain right. it. <laughs> and um, what else I got? That's pretty dope for you guys to check out. Mm, headphones. Always got to have headphones. These are connected to Vish's uh, system. So what we do is we actually just both sit right here. And then I put on the headphones and we speak into this thing. And then Vish records everything off of this, which he built himself, which is pretty epic. And he'll speak about that. I guess that's that's pretty much my gear setup. Like, what do I got going on? Music at all times. You always have to entertain yourself and doing all of your edits off this thing. What kind of MacBook is this? It's the MacBook Pro. <laughs> it's a MacBook Pro, but it's like it's like the highest level, right before customization. It's very expensive. Okay. Um, but if you're thinking about should I get like a standard iMac and like a MacBook Pro, I prefer to take it on the go because like when I'm traveling, I can still edit, but it's strong enough to run these multiple systems, but it's not strong enough to run three screens, which is why we had to turn this into a PS4 because I thought I could actually connect all three to this one thing and we found out it's not possible. So we brought the PS4 over and I just game as I work. This turn. So... This is the CPU. <laughs> All right, explain, right. explain to everyone uh, how, how does it work. How do we stream? So, yeah, how do we stream? Oh, how do we, how we record? Stream? So we used to stream, now we record it. So we, I use the OBS software, which is this free software. Uh -huh. And then um, we added on layers that we see now in the new videos, um, uh, like uh, skins, like the ones where we have our images show up and our weekly roundup, all those, and then normal ads. So we don't say it anymore because it shows up on the video. Uh, so this is all recorded on the this computer I built a couple years, I think a couple years ago. Um, so- uh, How does the build work? What does it build? What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, like, like how did you build this bad boy? Uh, by hand? <laughs> uh, well, you buy all the parts, make sure all the parts work like why is this so important as compared to other ones that you could purchase well it's just it's also cheaper and i wanted to try something and see if this would kind of work just to build something with my cousin so i made it with my cousin just to kind of give him something to uh get your hands in and kind of like figure out how this stuff works mm. so there we got at that time i got like the second best graphics card now there's so much different ones now uh and then so this all all the, the PS4 is now coming into, my PS4 is coming into this PC using the uh, Elgato capture card. Where is the Elgato? Oh, that's in the inside. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't think you can see it. Just above the, the graphics card here, above the Gigabyte, there's another one there. So, uh, the Elgato, then sh uh, from there there's a connector to the monitor as well. So, uh, we get a... Um, so that's how the game can, we can play the game on one screen and then uh, record uh, adding the layers or adding on different things. Sometimes we have images if it's a movie review, things like that. Uh, yeah, so that's the PS4 that's connected to this. So the, these two, which is his PS4, PJ's PS4 and my Xbox, we use the splitter, which is what we were talking about which is a audio extractor. That's why all the audio comes to the Bose and the rest of the, uh, whichever is on Xbox or the PS4 will then be connected to his monitor. Yeah. Uh, what kind of mic do we use? Okay, yeah, the mic we use for everything. What you hear, we're using the Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti black mic. Why'd you choose Blue Yeti? Uh, well, it seemed like it was a good choice. It seemed pretty reasonably priced and what I've heard was really good audio quality from this and if you watch twitch a lot you'll see a ton of people using this um, blue yeti mics and what kind of headphones you had so headphones so this is where I spend a lot more money on you got Astro's TR so these are like really good connecting with either the PC or the PS4 um, 
with the audio mixer. So that's where we uh, we can reduce the game audio as we so that we can hear each other talk on the mic as it's connected to the audio mixer as well. So it's so, a mm, maybe like three hundred plus dollar mic uh, headphones. Sorry, and then yeah. How, all in all, how much does the setup cost you? The well, which one are we talking we about? The, we got the webcam. The webcam, everything. So like the PC itself is about. I think it was close to 2000, Woo. including like, cause I didn't have keyboard at the time, I didn't have a mice as well. So uh, these are general things, general keyboard and mice, not nothing expensive. Uh, and then on top of that, the monitor. So everything about 2000. Oh, that's uh, not bad. Yeah. It's a pretty reasonable price. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, well that's, then the headphones, another 300 add that, another 100 for the mic uh, and so forth. So what you're saying is DIY is totally possible. Of course, yeah, you can make this stuff your own. Yeah. You can make like cheaper, you don't have to make this such a great big rig like what I did. You can make a cheaper version as well. Cool, and uh, do you want to talk about your your one purchase right here? My one purchase? <laughs> yeah. It took me a long time to find something to, one of these figurines to like. I found this was kind of funny, a little bit of like a little bit of weirdness of Superman, which is what who I like. But then and there's carrying Batman, which is, he's pissed off. He can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to say anything else about the gear? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I got there's a bunch of games we got and vitamin D for some reason. There. <laughs> uh, that's about it, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. That's that's our my part at least. What I do. All right, sweet. So uh, that was our gear setup. Hope you enjoyed. Now you know that it's actually totally doable to do a bunch of your own stuff. All in, I guess I would say that mine is... Actually, that computer is pretty expensive. It's like three grand. <laughs> More than mine. <laughs> More than three grand. This <laughs> Drobo was like a grand. Was it? Really? Oh, shit. It was like 700. Well, on top of the other hard drives you gotta buy? Yeah, you gotta buy hard drives, which are like 150 bucks right. each. Right. Uh, screens, you always get them. Screens are screens, right? So you just buy them whenever. Um, well, it depends on what you're sale. looking for, yeah. Yeah, that's true, but I just wanted like some stuff to like yeah. entertain myself. My laptop screen is like super powerful, so that's all I really need. So I think all in, I would say mine's about mm, six grand, maybe. <laughs> so it's not that bad. I mean, like if you buy it over time, obviously you don't buy it in the beginning. And Vish is, how much do you say yours? Yeah, you can say close to three if you add everything with the PlayStation and all that stuff. Yeah, so it's totally doable. You don't really need a huge setup. Um, yeah. to get yourself going. So I'd say if you are into creating your own stuff, hope you enjoyed because this and these kinds of videos always inspired me. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they inspired Vish too, they inspire you. No, I just think it's cool, that's all. Like I want to copy what they have. Yeah, exactly, that's totally. So, and, you're like, and you're like, oh, it's, it's achievable, you know? Yeah. So uh, don't let monetary goals stand in the way of your dreams. Okay. <laughs> Piecemeal over time. Sure. Yeah. Um, final thoughts, Fish? Uh, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed. I like that. Oh, I like to say that reminded me because I haven't been playing Xbox for so long that I was like, wait, why do we have this splitter? <laughs> but so what happened was we had like the Xbox and the PS4 and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna play both of them. If we just get the splitter, I can go back and forth because we were gonna play Fortnite. Right. That's why we got the splitter. Gotcha. But we don't really use Xbox anymore, so it's kind of like, if an Xbox game comes out, that would be pretty dope. But nothing. I mean, I don't Actually, know. Actually, that splitter was pretty. How much was that? Like, 200 bucks? Was it? No, it was 100 something. It was 100 something, wasn't it? You know, whatever. But well, whatever. It still, was. again, it's not it's not that big a deal. But yeah, Xbox is on its way out. So. Well, we'll see. E3 is coming up. That's true. Stay tuned. We have a uh, Socratic Humans podcast coming up tomorrow. Movie review. Movie review. Take it easy. Peace.